Ooh, oh, yo, 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 what's up? We're going to be on the NoFap Reddit page. And we're going to be just looking at posts, debunking posts, and just seeing how corrupt this NoFap page has made people. Not corrupt, how misled. And, um, yeah, this shit is this page right here, okay? Don't worry about this, I'm not into basketball. This whole entire page. How many people? Oh, yeah. 1.1 million members. 62 members online. This page is like a demon. Okay. This is literally like why people keep. It's just a big. Co oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you guys are about to see some like. See that shit? Ooh, now it's not going away. Like, this page is literally a like hell demon sent page and it's makes the problem worse and people join it and they just get fucked up when they get in here i know i did <coughs> okay 6 38 a.m let's go let's see what's going on here I've been trying to quit for a long time. I'm a busy guy with lots of stuff to do. Point of masturbation is not only wasting my time, but also my energy. I feel fucking sick. I tried to quit so many times, going six days a couple of times, and I'm back a couple of days later. Not to mention, I'm also a devout Muslim, so not only is this filth prohibited, so it strays me further from my religion. Here once in a while, and I will start to try, away, try to stay away from. So as you can see, right here, as you can see, being busy does not help you quit porn because at the end of the day he still he desires it and i don't want to get into religion because i can't say if religion will help you quit porn but from my perspective when you guilt yourself with religion it's not going to help you quit because it shouldn't you shouldn't quit from this angle of oh man i should be quitting i should i have to i should no it should be i want to and that's when you reevaluate your reasons, preferences, etc. So he is literally labeling out the cost. He's like, oh my God, I keep, I'm trying to quit, but I keep wasting my time, wasting my energy, and I feel fucking sick. He's just labeling out costs. What's happening is he's trying to quit motivated by costs. He doesn't see, he's not, <clears throat> he hasn't opened his mind to the option that Quitting has benefits and that it can be simple. Simply it. And like he's guilting himself and everything. Fuck this shit. Day zero. 22 minutes ago. Oh my god. I don't know why I have to sneeze so much. <coughs> Fuck. Fuck. I wasn't wiping the snot. I was spit. Oh, fuck. It's only like about 6 a.m. 6 a.m. out here. All right, new to Reddit, need advice. Um, don't worry about that. Oh, wet dreams. I started taking no fat seriously, and I'm very motivated to never PMO again. That's pretty good. I actually feel quite excited to rewire my brain and how it should, but I'm worried how I'm going to deal with wet dreams. So this guy is actually like on the right track. He's excited, and he's got a positive vision for abstinence. Before I started fapping, I remember having wet dreams cause problems and just soaking them. <laughs> Or fuck home sleeping through my pillows. It was time I was a wet dream. My cousin's couch passed as embarrassment. Holy shit. PMO stops on wet dreams, but I know they'll eventually come back. I'm a ghost sleeps at my friend's house. I can wear a little creaming. Whatever I'm sleeping on. How am I supposed to deal with this? Besides, obviously, nothing. Seriously, I'm a goner if I ever woke up and realized I've spoiled my friend's guest bed. Please. Oh, well, I don't know how to do this. Never mind. Thought it was going to be something else. Um, I'll go to like 55. Alright, this post looks good. During the recent nightfall, as soon as it happened, I woke up. I instinctively grabbed my thing. Tried to prevent it from bleeding. It worked a bit, but semen did come out. So I want to know if next time a nightfall happens to me, should I grab it and do what I did last time? I want to know if it's harmful not to just block my thing. Or not to just block my thing from ejaculating. Wait. Instinctively grabbed my thing. So he's literally... <laughs> what? 
you know, like an instinct is like when you are, you know, when something gets close to your eye and you blink, that's an instinct. He's talking about like, I instinctively grab my penis. Like, really, do you instinctively grab your penis? Next, let's see. Mm. Mm. I see two golden posts. I've been fapping quite regularly for the past few years. Whatever I want to do with no fap, I fap. After a gap of two to three days, I fap, especially when I'm under stress, using fap as a stress release. Get over that urge. So basically, he, this is very simple. This guy views fapping as stress relief. At most, whenever he's fapping and watching porn, at most, what's happening is he is, oh my god, somebody's going to put the fucking yawn counter. I did not get the best night of sleep, even though I went to sleep early last night. Did not get the best hours, the most quality hours. But yeah, um, I've been fapping because it's stress. Yeah, it's simply because he thinks fapping is a outlet for his stress. Anything can literally be an outlet for your stress. Hairstyling can be an outlet for your stress. Fucking reading, going on a walk, you know, talking to a family member, playing a card game. Going on YouTube, playing a video game, all those can relieve stress. Well, don't objectively, but you can make it relieve stress. Fapping is no different. The only thing that's happening is that he is just distracted off of stress. And then just because he's distracted off of stress, he thinks that he's relieving it. But it's just that his mind's not on the stress. And that's literally it. It's like... Oh man, I'm stressed out. Let me go play soccer with the boys. Or let me go play basketball with the boys. And yeah, you're not going to feel stressed whilst you're playing basketball with the boys. Okay. Fuck. I don't like how I keep yawning. Better habits. I'm struggling to find anything else meaningful to I can count on one. Spending exercise gaming. At least decided to cut contact with a close friend because Kim's going to stop me from my personal growth. Uh, I wonder if he's watching Hamza. Every time we hang out, he's an energy vampire. Seen- oh, wait, never mind. He's complaining nonstop about everything, but most of all, he's the one who dug the holy ground and stuff. Okay, um. I feel happiness. Nice. I used to jerk off to my classmates. <laughs> okay. No, now I just now I don't jerk off. I just want to tell you how I've evolved this person. Ooh. I'm gonna say a better person. Tipsa. <laughs> she was nine five eighty times a day, Bruh. No. <laughs> this dude is fucking insane. I used to stare at those two things when I used to see her. <laughs> okay. I last posted this 12 days ago, and since then I've maybe gone one and a half days without wanking off. The only good thing is that I've been harder on myself for succumbing to the urges. I have moments where while uh, while doing so, I say, why am I doing this? Go back to six months ago, I didn't have either of those things going on, which I see as a win. But it's simply not enough. Today I plan on starting a month-long challenge for myself where I will not look at porn. As soon as I hit post on this, any sort of porn, no matter how large the urge is, May get, I am not letting them take me over. I know it's easier said than mine. I used to be doing five years. I've been like this mentally five whole years without barely any abstaining for more than two days. Today is the day. Enough. This is insane. So, he's talking about like urges, alright? He said like, how large the urge may get. I am not letting them take me over. So, here's him. And he thinks the urge is out here. Like, don't let it take me over, but, like, it's literally, this is, like, a fucking, um, 
cartoon I was talking to this one day. You said watching this, reading these posts is like watching a cartoon. Not making fun of their struggle. It's just like, like, wow. That's crazy how, like, you think the urge is coming from that. Like, something random. And, like, that you have to fight it. Like, this urge that he's saying, like, that's getting large, he literally makes it. So, like, it's, like, the urge is not just, like, randomly getting large and he's like, oh, no, 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 no. No, it's like, he, he made it, right? He simply just sees reason for fapping. Very strong reason. And he has not identified those. Yo, what the fuck? This is why I make these videos. And like why this shit is fucking retarded. Like this whole thing was like Yeah, I got this thing with these people fucking phony like fifteen years. They, like, even this, like, fucking therapy doesn't help. That have been uh, through traumas are outside. Yeah, see, it doesn't even fucking help. Yeah, fucking. Damn, bro, like, that is fucking crazy, like, this shit is literally fatal, this fucking shitty ass info in here, bro, like, it's so shit, like, all therapy, rehab, um, fucking nofap, it's all so shit, the info, and the thing was, like, this guy didn't, he had been fighting a problem, he literally killed himself, well, I don't know if he actually killed himself, but, like, you know, this post seems kind of like, yo, but, um, damn, yo, see, I want to tell you guys to share the video, but not in, like, some retarded way, okay, I'm not, I don't want to tell you this in, like, some retarded way, where, like, hoo, 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 like, for my own personal gain. Like, obviously, I will get gains from you sharing this video. But, like, this is the type of shit that happens, like, all because they just believe in addiction. Like, he's he literally thought he's addicted. And he, he just spent, fi he spent 15 years and killed himself over a problem that literally doesn't even exist. Jesus. Oh, my God. Hmm. I will look at one more post. Wait a minute. And I got a long story, a long time I fap took from porn to hentai to from teachers to my classmates to elder sisters and my classmates. This will not happen again. I promise I'll never fap again. And every weakness of mine, I'll eliminate them. You're not weak. This guy is not weak. He doesn't have any weaknesses. He's in full control and he doesn't have to eliminate anything. Triggers and urges, I know how to avoid them. This guy is going to fail. I have a weaker desire. Once I stay up later, which will happen late. Okay. 
NoFap is easy when you're fucking. <laughs> but it's a lot harder. Because you probably don't see a reason to do it. But it's a lot harder when it's just you alone in the house with him. It's like, actually, I want to stop. These 20 past odd days have felt great. I want to keep going, but I have to report the relapse or else I'm just lying. <laughs> lying about this got me in trouble. I'm done with this. Probably have been easier. I've been seeing the post on here. Actually, really, let me guess. One thing about addiction is that changing means actually changing. <laughs> this is completely fucking wrong. <laughs> You don't have to change your behaviors. You change your preference. I noticed I fell asleep. I uh, have a weaker desire once I stay up later. I should start to wait. Nope. Your self-control is always at maximum potential, okay? Be, and the relapse is not like you losing control. You, he, you, he chooses to do it. It's just that maybe after 10 p.m. He just placebos it or it's more convenient. He placebos it like, oh my god, this is a better time. Or he's... Just, or it is, like, genuinely more convenient after 10 p.m. <laughs> mm, frustration. In the context of a relationship. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this guy's just got, like, a whole bunch of rigid beliefs in his head. But, yeah, that's the video. I don't want to make this, like, super, super, super long. Because, you know, I also have, like, something else I have to work on related to BMO. But, fuck. This right here. This is very sad. I don't know what to even think. You know what I mean? Like, see, look at this fucking dude. Two years ago, still he had it. Like, in this fucking nofap. <laughs> look, 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 look. Oh my god, five years. Clearly, it's not. <laughs> Clearly. This fucking nofap shit. I can't imagine, like, he's 20. Addiction. He's just constantly believing in addiction. Five years. I can't imagine, like, having 15 years of this shit. Damn. You know, see, I always give in to the urges and relapse. Oh my god. Well, you know, share this video, like, just spread the fucking info. If you're, like, very weird about sharing the video, then fine, you don't have to share the video, just share the freedom model, you know, if you share the freedom model on this space specifically, though, you'll literally get banned, so instead of sharing it on the space, DM people the book, or DM people my videos, whatever the fuck you want to do, because, like, you could, this shit is avoidable, this right here, oh, man, well, you know, there's nothing you can do, and it is kind of sad how fucked this nofap space is. And yeah. Okay. Oh my god. See, they're all like fucking, they're all brewing in the same fucking poison. It's literally it. I'm just not gonna, um, yeah, okay, well, hopefully you found this video useful, share it, please share the freedom model, share something, even if you're not sharing videos, share the advice, if you're gonna share advice on here, don't comment it, DM people, because if you comment it, you're gonna get banned for, like, advertising or some shit, like, it, this is literally a fucking retarded useless useless cult okay and yeah i will see you guys in the next one peace